What's up everybody and welcome back to another every freaking Wednesday Welcome to Nellyville If this is your first time here go ahead and click the big red subscribe button Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're gonna love it And while you're at it go ahead and click the post notification bell So you get notified every time I upload a spooky video Let's just get right into it So you read the title per usual I always tell you guys read the title before you click you know, you don't want you don't want to click on them, you don't want to click on them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know I was looking good or whatever in the thumbnail. Anyways, I'm sorry. Well, Labor Day is over. So what does that mean? It means <laughs> spooky season is here. Now, look, I know some people are like, Chanel, no, it's a little early for spooky, spooky season. season. Halloween, Halloween is just too far. It's just too far. But you know what? Um, I don't give a damn. You know, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and so I feel like if I want to start celebrating in September, the on September 9th, then I feel like, then that's what we gonna do. <laughs> anyway, so this is gonna be the first episode of a spooky season series here on Nellyville, so make sure, like I said, click the post notification bell to follow along. So anyways, I'm rambling. What are we doing on this first episode? I figure we just keep it lighthearted. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite Halloween anti-scary movies because, I mean, it's my channel, it's my prerogative. That's what I want to do. I want to tell you some of my favorites. So, um, after I tell you, tell me if you, what you think about my list. And then also maybe down in the comment section down below, let me know a couple of your favorites, okay? Yeah, let's not make this anything complicated. It's spooky season, you're in Nellyville. Let's just go over the list. All right, movie number one. Now look, in no particular order, I actually have a lot of favorite Halloween movies, but I just wanted to pick out a few that were uh, maybe a little more family friendly. You know, we all live a family friendly vibe. And not everyone is into being, you know, just scared out of their wits. You know, not everybody is into that. So the first movie I have on my list here is Hocus Pocus. Okay, Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you've never seen Hocus Pocus, here is, you know, a little sample sepage right here. A freaking classic. I mean, where have you been your whole life? It's very, it's, it's cute. It used to come on Disney a lot, but I love this movie for one. For one, the music is just great. It's one of the best movie scores that I've ever heard. I mean, like the soundtrack is good, but like the actual like score of the movie is really good. The storyline is really cute. So you have three uh, sister witches and they, you know, they come back to life because someone uh, lit a candle and I don't want to give too much of the movie away if you've never seen it, which I don't know how you've never seen it. Have you never seen Hocus Pocus? So yeah, that's number one. Let's move right along. Number two. Number two, we have Twitches. Twitches, Twitch is another, actually, Twitches is a Disney movie. Yeah, it is a Disney, wow, this should have just been Disney Halloween movies, but whatever. Uh, Twitches is the movie with Tia and Tamara, you know, the, the Maori twins. And oh, uh, for one, Huge Tia and Tamara fan. This was one of those, real, it was just a really good sister bonding movie moment. So you get kind of that, the spookiness, but you know it's going to be a good time because it's Tia and Tamara. So something great for everyone of all ages. So like, yeah, Twitches. And also Twitches was one and two, right? Let me Google that real quick. Yes, there was a, tw a Twitches 2. So when you go to look for Twitches 2, just know that 2 is spelled like uh, T-O-O. -O. So also, Twitches also not the number 2. Not that it matter, I'm sure you still would have found it. So there you go. Enjoy. Let's move on. Number 3. <laughs> number 3 of my mo top movie list. Like I said, guys, in no particular order. These aren't all my favorite movies. This is kind of the first ones that came to my mind that I really like to watch every year. And if I don't watch them every year, it's not Halloween. Okay, so anyway, so Halloween Town. Okay, also another Disney movie. Okay, look. You're seeing a trend here. You're seeing a trend. But I promise they're not all, they're not all. This is the last one that's gonna be a Disney movie. Not that there's anything wrong with Disney movies. I'm just saying some people's not their vibe. It's not your vibe. And it's okay. Okay, so also my pigtails are a little. 
They're a little wonky, honey. They're a little wonky. Don't judge me, darling. Don't judge me. Okay, so Halloween Town. Another great, funny, very, very funny Halloween movie. Also, another movie that has a really great, great score. I mean, Twitch has, has a great score, too, but... Halloween Town had really, I mean, the music was great. The cinematography was great. It's about a bro bro another brother and sister sibling moment and a, a save the day, you know, kind of vibe. It's a good time, what can I say? Halloween Town, there you go. I, I don't want to get too much of the story away. Okay, this isn't me giving a review of the movies. This is me telling you which ones I like to watch. So, damn, if you want to know about the movie, just go look it up. Or you can ask me, and I, I will I will write you back. Come find me on Twitter. Come find me on all of my social medias. Ask me a question in the comment section down below. We can have a boom, boom, boom. You know, but this isn't a review. This isn't a movie synopsis, okay? This is just me recommending, okay? So that was number three. Let's move on. Number four. <laughs> okay, so number four is actually not a Disney movie. Even though it's probably owned by some, like, Disney company, but... That's another topic for another day. Scary movie. Another one that has multiple parts. How many scary movies are there? Um, how many scary movies are there? There, there's a lot. There might, I think there's like five, maybe even six. I'm not sure. Somebody fact check that for me and leave it in the comment section down below. But anyways, the scary movies, especially the first one and the second one, pure comedy gold if you're somebody who really likes comedy and you just want to participate in kind of the the, the the just the halloween festivities but horror movies aren't really your thing scary movie scary movie all the way if you've never seen it i don't know what you are doing with your life although maybe you're too young and you haven't seen it yet and if you are too young um i i mean i think my judy's on here i think we all grown are close enough but if you are a baby judy make sure you ask mom and dad before you go watch really any of these movies okay because I, I i don't want the smoke and also they're leaf blowing outside so i don't know if you guys can hear me that well but if it's like kind of off and I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't know they were going to be leaf blowing right now and i'm not going to refilm this video so if you can't hear me just telekinesis okay just feel me just feel me you know what i'm saying i'm giving you movie titles like you get it all right so anyway so scary movie really great it's, it's basically a parody of all the great moments in in real scary movies it's such a contributor to pop culture so probably if you've never seen it you probably know some of the jokes because a lot of the jokes even though the movies are so old throwback uh, you know a lot of the jokes are still used in really kind of every day so i'm like <laughs> That's an Easter egg for you. And last, I gotta get it out of here because of the... <sighs> the leaf blowing. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. Lastly, Freddy vs. Mumpkin Jason. Okay, so let me tell you something. All right, so Freddy vs. Jason is uh, an actual, you know, scary movie. It's uh, an actual scary movie. It's not like a, a, a parody or like a joke or anything. Um, you know, I'll leave it up to you if you think it's actually scary or not. But I love Freddy vs. Jason, not because it, it scares me per se, but it's so funny for i don't it's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be but that movie i mean it's really good really great plot plot great storyline uh the it's the one where the kids are like on the bus and they get stuck out in like in the in the cornfield or whatever um i don't want to get too much away but it's it's so funny. I, I'm the type of person I love to watch a movie that's not meant to be funny, but finding the humor in it. It's something about a movie that that isn't classified as a comedy and still being able to laugh at it. It's something about it that just makes it so much funnier. Does anybody else like it? You know, no. Did anybody, you know, it's not a bad movie because I know I can see how like a bad movie could be funny because some people like to watch really bad movies. And laugh at them, but no, Freddy vs. Jason was a, was a great movie, especially when it came out at, at the time, like the early 2000s, is is, 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 is ish 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 early 2000s ish ish yeah yeah sure, sure whatever. whatever yeah so that's that's the five that's the five. If you want to know more of my movie recommendations for this spooky season, um, just let me know. I can I can have my people contact your people and we can get a list. 
we can formulate a list. Um, if you feel some type of way about my movies that I put out today, let me know. Let's discuss. Let's have a let's have a conversation. A conversation. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for coming to watch the first episode of the Nellyville Spooky Season, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Woo. Um. Also, I forgot, um, if you could subscribe, thumbs up, post the notification bell, maybe leave a little comment, and, um, okay, yeah, for real this time. Okay, take care. Don't forget your mask. Okay, bye.